Oh, hi, Donna. Oh, hi, Sugar. Did you hear what happened last night? I can't believe he did that. Did you hear about what Jack did last night? I don't believe this. This is so embarrassing. I, you know. As a leader, you have to make sure there is balance for the room. You need to make sure everything's in its place. Make sure the owner is happy and not stressed out. And that the room is clean and not broken. But there are times when the room has something unbalanced. And it needs to be discussed and taken care of. Hey, listen, everyone. Can we have a meeting at the bed, please? I have a little announcement to make. All right, guys, now that the owner is busy with college, you guys think we can party a lot more now. But since I am the leader, that's not the case here. So I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. Get out of here, dude. Are you serious, bro? No more partying? Yes, we can't accidentally break any more things in this room. Remember the light bulb? Yeah, well, I didn't know it was going to get that out of control. You're the one that invited the dog. Whoa! Who told you that? Because if it was Sarah, she is known to be a compulsive liar because I have never. Oh, just stop it, you two. That was all in the past. Now, can we just forget about it and let Arceus finish, please? Why, Why thank, thank you, you Miss Bear. Mm, this is bull. I'm... Um, out of here. <laughs> Jack, what has gotten into you? Well, all right, all right then. then. Meeting, Meeting adjourned, adjourned for now. Arceus is such a potty pooper, bro. That girl needs to tie his little tail down. Jack? Is Jack is all I can say about him is that he's a little selfish at times, but I know somewhere he has a heart. He just needs some proper motivation to encourage him to change. Hey, bud. Jack really needs some help. He's been out of control lately. I'm just wondering if you have a plan on fixing him, or we could plan a... Fix him? He's been always like this since last Christmas. But there has to be an explanation into why he's been acting out recently. Trust me, if I can shoot Rainbow out of my belly like my cartoon counterpart... There'll be a lot more peace in this room and less dysfunction. Well, that would fix a lot of the problems I have right now. He needs therapy. I have been reading a lot of psychological books lately. And my mind is now starting to think like a therapist. I think this is a great chance to test my newly acquired skills. Therapy? Yeah, I've read that if a person, or in this case Jack, 
starts acting out like he has been, usually talking helps release stress and anxiety that is built up inside. Hmm, therapy has worked for humans. Let's give it a try. Please, Arceus, let me talk to him. All right, but this better work tomorrow. Thank you so much. I won't let you down. I'm hopeful with the plan Shay came up with here. Because Cher is right. He does need help. And I trust both of their words. Shay is one of our many smart dolls here. She is very reliable in what she has studied and learned. She has resolved problems before. Hey, uh, Shay, what you pull me aside for? Wanna make out, don't ya? No, I just want to talk and get to know you a little more, since I'm still new around here and all. Well, well, a gal wants to know more about the Grizzly. Wait, this isn't a trick, is it? No, I genuinely want to talk to you, I promise. Why do you call yourself the Grizzly? Because that's what all the chicks call me in bed. Ugh, too much information, dude, okay? Why do you not trust talking to me? I mean, we barely talk anyway. It's because you're always with that lingo Arceus. <laughs> He's such a perfectionist, so I assume you're also one too. First of all, he's a llama. What is with all this negativity towards Arceus? Can you please explain that? Bro, I'm a rebel. I don't respect authority. Besides, he always bosses everyone around, especially with me making us do chores. I should not be limited in having a good time with all the ladies. If I don't throw parties all the time, then all of them lose interest in me and think I'm a loser. I don't want to lose my street cred just because I turned into a glorified house cleaner. You get what I'm saying, pretty thing? Well, yes I do. But you don't understand why Arceus' position is extremely strict like that. Because he's just protecting us and the owner from chaos. That's why he is constantly hard on us. He doesn't want her to freak out. If either something mysteriously broke or gone missing like the light bulb he was talking about yesterday... Do you understand what I'm saying, Jack? Look, you can still have a good time. You just can't be reckless all the time. Wait, are you trying to say that my partying lifestyle makes the owner go nuts? And that I need to slow down before I put her in the nut house? Yeah, pretty much. I never thought I'd say this. That I'm actually listening to a woman. I'm sorry, but honestly, every gal I've dated here never listened to any one of their convo. I mean, they're a bunch of sexy goddesses, but now sitting and talking with a woman like Shay hearing what she was saying about why I can't be a party animal, why Arceus is such a butthead, and my behavior towards everyone. It made me realize that everything here is important, and I'm going to start to learn respect. So, how did the session go? Well... After an hour of talking, I think I finally got through to him. 
and we are going to start working on himself next week. Ah, come on, babe! You can't be that angry about this. It's not a big deal. No, it is a big deal. You promise there will be a party in the bathroom tonight at 7. This is really not like you to cancel a party. Yeah, but don't you think maybe we are partying too much? How's about you, me, and Big Red for game night instead? Really? Big Red? <laughs> He's even worse than you, boy. We are through. Ciao. Ow! Babe, wait! <sighs> Great. So much for being nice. Yo, Big Red, meet me in the kitchen. Well... We have a lot of work to do.